Today we'll be talking about visa evolution, brought to you by Creative Minds. So what is evolution anyway? In biology, evolution is a change in the characteristics of a species over several generations and relies on the process of natural selection. In order for evolution to occur, there are four main things that need to happen. Variation, selection, inheritance, and time. Let's start off by talking about variation. Genetic variation is the difference in DNA among individuals or the differences between populations. Here, you can see that these are all birds of the same species, but look slightly different. Next, let's talk about selection. Natural selection is the process in nature by which organisms better adapted to their environment tend to survive and reproduce more than those less adapted. Inheritance is another key component of evolution. Inheritance is a transmission of traits or information from one generation of individuals to the next. For example, if someone made it past selection, that means they're more likely to be able to have offspring which can inherit their traits. Time is the last component needed. You need a certain amount of time for evolution to occur, and it does not happen overnight. You usually need many generations. Now let's take a look at a real-life visa evolution example. Fossil evidence from the savannas of Africa shows that cheetahs can be found coexisting with prey such as gazelle for the past 5 million years. Today's gazelles are quite fast with average running speeds around 40 miles per hour and in some case up to 60 miles per hour in short bursts. Some cheetahs had scapulas with a low range of motion, while others were able to rotate their scapulas more freely, allowing for a better range of motion. The cheetahs with the better range of motion thus had longer strides and were able to run faster. Cheetahs without this trait were often unable to catch the agile gazelles and sometimes starved, while those with the higher range of motion and running speeds often caught enough gazelles to feed both themselves and their offspring. Over the course of the past 2 million years, the average sprinting speed of a cheetah has increased from 40 miles per hour to 60 miles per hour. So the question is, did evolution occur in this case? Well, the answer is yes. On screen, you can see why. And remember, for evolution to occur, all four VSIT scenarios must be checked. If you found this video helpful, please like, subscribe, and turn on notifications to find out when we post new videos. Also, check out our Facebook and Instagram to learn more.